Mm. I usually like to ask my guides off camera first if my energy is in the right place to do a reading. And my guides know that I have been hyper focused on my 3D goals at the moment. But they called me to the table. They were like, well, before you go to sleep, I need you to do some mission work. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to be obedient because obedience has gotten me very far in life. All right. So how does the most high view me right now? Holy Spirit. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we know that the divine is in the building. By the power of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, please give me clear and precise messages on behalf of the collective. What angel guides are here? Mm. One that's giving revelations in dreams. Okay. Revelations of betrayal. <laughs> the patient God. Oh my L. Always a good time when Omael's in the building. All right. Fertility and multiplicity protects against despair, helps one be patient. Absolutely. There's only 24 hours in the day. I do my best to try to get as much done as possible. Okay. Thank you so much to those who have stuck around since day one. You know, it's been a journey. I originally intended for this channel to be more so of a documentation of my journey from beginning to end, as well as how my perspectives have evolved over time. So it really wasn't intended to be, you know, my end all be all or how I would be known or most successful as I have reached many pinnacles of success overall in my career. Um, in the business world. So this is more so my contribution slash self-empowerment, um, documenting my spiritual journey and as, as well as assisting others with my gifts, because I feel that when you are spiritually gifted, it's only right to give back, right? How selfish would it be to have such wonderful gifts and not use them to help others? Okay. So, thank you for that confirmation. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands, okay? We have literally been designed by the Most High to create. So, that's what we're doing right now. All right. So, Holy Spirit, what messages do we need to share with the collective? Mm-hmm. A message about a toxic third party. Okay. I don't want it. Yeah, right? It's making my stomach flip at the moment. That and fasting. But um, toxic third party. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be a karmic read. Hmm. Control your emotions in regards to a toxic third party. Collective, you may be expressing yourself, right? This could be in the form of quotes, memes, or, you know, however you express yourself. And this is a clear indication that you're going through something, okay? Spirit is urging you to control your emotions at this time because this toxic third party is trying to um, bring something from the past back up, okay? Something from the past comes back around. This could be an ex. This could be someone that you dealt with in the past, OK, you know, it is common measure that when you start achieving your goals, the past will try to come back around. Right. Because they sense a major life change is currently occurring in your life. Hmm. So they're going to try to bring something up here if it hasn't happened yet it may happen something about the summer is also significant 
okay? Be open to receive. You may be receiving some kind of offer or something regarding the summer, okay? But it being tied to a toxic third party, I don't know if you're going to want to go for this. Or there may be a toxic third party that is trying to block some kind of opportunity for you that may be coming in for the summer. Spirit is urging you at this time to focus on your bag. Now, money is not everything, but you need to be focused on your finances at this time. Okay? This opportunity could involve finances. Absolutely. Okay. You also have beauty spells in reverse. Okay. You know, there's a whole lot of bippity boppity going on, but spell work don't work against antibiotics, baby. All right. So you could have been experiencing breakouts or whatever. And, um, spirit is urging you to Focus on taking better care of yourself, okay? Drink more water. I feel the need to tell someone that as well. Okay, let me drink some water. There's something in it. Absolutely. <sighs> mm. All right. Focus on your bag. Your energy of love is leading me home. Self-care is needed, is getting clarified by you centering yourself, grounding yourself. There's something significant that happens when you start focusing on this energy, okay? It's easier to call things in when you're grounded, when your energy is clear. So what is this about this toxic third party? Okay. There's a toxic third party that wants to tell you something, but they want you to keep it to yourself. Okay. Yeah. This toxic third party could be codependent or they, they want to express something to you about a toxic third party that is trying to block your growth. You may be getting some kind of opportunity over the summer and this person is trying to block you from receiving this by bringing up the past. If you have been hearing a song stuck in your head that may be significant, okay, for my Claire Audient portion of the collective, use your gift. Your gift is, it, that is occurring because this may be a portion of the read that may resonate with you, okay? It may not even be about that artist, but there's a message in the lyrics possibly that may give you an idea about who you're dealing with in your own individual lives, okay? Maybe it reminds you of someone. Maybe there's something else going on here. What is this uh, codependent energy? Someone could have been trying to throw love magic at you. People kill me with this. It's like, if you have the knowledge to, um, for lack of better terminology, manipulate energy, why would you not use that gift for good? I feel like trying to um, manipulate people's own will is universally illegal. Okay, and you're also creating a lot of bad karma for yourself. If it's meant to be, it will be. And if it's not meant to be, well, this is why you get banned out of people's energy. You also have shadow ban. Like somebody, somebody feels some type of way about their energy work not working on you. So they may be, you know, they may be trying to be exactly trying to be spiteful okay because their spell work isn't working on you oh too bad so sad i don't think you care collective maybe some of you do but i don't think you do all right hmm 
Yeah. Collective, you have I said what I said, crown chakra. Right. It's like you take a break because you're focused on something else. And then people think that their spell work is working. At this point, it's like, why even waste energy debunking people? Keep building in secret. Okay. Yeah, somebody's thoughts are loud. This could have something to do with a sibling rivalry for some of you. Yeah, you got brother and sister coming out. There's maybe someone that is jealous of your spiritual gifts, okay? You could be an Aquarius or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe somebody's jealous of the fact that there may be an Aquarius who desires you. Take what resonates, okay? You got Aquarius energy here. If you're not a sun Aquarius, you could have Aquarius in your chart. Something about Aquarius energy is significant, okay? Someone may be wanting to collaborate with you. Someone may be, uh, oh, okay? This could also be a false reader who's hating on the real divine feminine who's an Aquarius. Take what resonates, no shade here. I'm just reading the cards, okay? I don't even know whose energy this is, but if anybody is throwing spell work at me, that could be why your energy is coming up on my table also, okay? Spirit never lies. Patience, right, Omael? That's what happens um, when you're not in a rush to discover things. Divine timing is now. Hmm. So why is this false reader coming up? Hazael, Hierophant. Yeah. Someone is regretting the decisions that they made. Five of Cups. They may be wanting to obtain forgiveness from someone because they want to protect their involvement in whoever this toxic third party is. Maybe this person hired a practitioner to do something to you, okay? And it's not working, okay? The reason why this person did this is because they were jealous of your spiritual gifts. I'm not surprised. What else, Holy Spirit? Okay, there's definitely an Aquarius involved. That doesn't mean you're an Aquarius, though. You could be any sign, okay? Maybe you are waiting on confirmation, okay? So if you watch my channel and you're a reader, this is confirmation that you have been getting spiritually attacked or someone could literally be sh trying to shadow ban your channel. There's a lot of this that goes on, okay? It's not forever. Just keep pumping out content. The right person will see it, you know? Hmm. Somebody's wish fulfillment was to burden you, but I don't see this burdening you. Not at all. Focus on your bag is getting clarified by the nine of pentacles. Maybe someone thought that this was your bread and butter, right? But this was actually maybe just something you did on the side. I don't know. What is this? Holy Spirit. Yeah, you got a major life change that you're focused on right now, which is bringing you in the Ten of Cups. I don't think you're very concerned about this. What is shadow banned, Holy Spirit? Yeah, whatever this banning is, is coming to an end with the world here. Okay, whoever this Aquarius is, they're burdened and betrayed by a truth. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, someone is burdened and betrayed by you getting clarity of this situation or confirmation of this situation. Or you speaking your truth is healing a situation, okay? Possibly with authorities or Archangel Michael, okay? Yeah, wow. Okay, as soon as I speak his name, okay? Two of Cups. You're in a partnership with the divine. You are definitely protected here, all right? Mm-hmm. This person wanted you stuck. This person wanted you wounded. This person wanted you to speak from a place of wounding. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, this person wanted to make you look unhinged and out of control. This did not work. None of this worked. Nope. Because you're intuitive, you also speak from a position of authority. You may also be getting communication 
from your guides in regards to being protected here. King of Swords and the Eight of Wands, okay? It's no nonsense when it comes to you, collective, okay? Your tribe is going to receive it well, and if they don't, then they're not really your tribe, and that's just what it is, okay? Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nine of Pentacles is getting clarified by the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, geez, you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. The Divine sees you being in your alignment with your Divine Purpose. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands. Okay? You have literally been sent here this lifetime to create. I don't think you should be focused or worried about what the haters are going to think. You need to be solely focused on your calling. And I promise you, the right people will receive it well. 